I don't quite know how so many of my study with me's have fog outside. Like, what is this? It's February, and yesterday it was like 14 degrees. Someone explain, please. So what you're seeing first is just me doing a few tidy up tasks in my bedroom. This is just to get me in a productive mood, so it's not necessarily starting work, but it's just getting me in the mood ready to do something productive. Next up was some Seneca learning and I did AQA A-level physics. My teacher just set me an assignment to do a certain amount of the waves topic. If you don't know, Seneca is a really great online platform. I've not been paid to say this or anything, I just think it's really useful. It basically tests you on knowledge behind all of your subjects and gives you short little quizzes or test questions just to check your progress. some biology notes just because these aren't the hardest things to do yet I go over my notes and where I can I add to them or I'll make certain notes in my margin I should probably do a video on how I make my A-level notes because a lot of you ask about it so it'd be a good one to do but I basically make rough notes in class and copy them up and add to them with keywords and basically highlight them so I'm going over them multiple times and then from them I make my revision resources So Jade has just been to like Australia, it's absolutely mad. And this vlog is 23 minutes, so the perfect length for my entire revision break. Can't wait, love this. If you're thinking of taking A-level biology, I definitely would recommend it. It's an amazing course, it's really interesting, but just be prepared for the workload. All of my A-level subjects I think have quite big workloads, not as big as some of the other people I've seen, but biology does especially. You need to be on top of your independent study, make sure you're actually teaching yourself outside of class and going over notes actively, or you just won't retain the material. Saying that, it's an incredibly valuable A-level and I'm really enjoying it. was me 
kind of adding to my notes from a course I did, it's called a MOOC. Now I'll probably do a video about them as well, detailing what I did and where you can find them, but MOOCs are basically courses which extend beyond the curriculum you currently study and explore certain areas. So for example, I did mine by Open University on an introduction to geology or um, geology in my pocket. It was really good, it taught me loads of really interesting things and it's the sort of thing you can kind of say to unis about and be like, actually, yeah, no, I am dedicated. I've gone out in my own time and I've done a course based on a subject area that interests me. Here was another set of homework. This time it was geography and because it was geography I had to do some case studies. This was on a hick, lick and knee case study and it was just basically comparing earthquakes and the hazard risk equation for them. So we were looking at the PAR model. If you do A-level geography or you're planning on doing A-level geography you'll learn more about this in the future. just because they are for a lesson that I've got tomorrow and I'll annotate them in the lesson and oh it's gone blurry sorry about the quality it's because it's night time and um, my light is like yellow not white light so it doesn't help but I'm going to read through these and annotate them in class tomorrow and then I'll write them up just before I stopped for the night I decided to do some extra physics notes just so that I didn't have to read them tomorrow I also made sure to leave myself some work to do because I had a free first period and so I did some independent study then. Thank you for watching my study with me, hopefully this helped to motivate you and give you a little bit more of an insight into what a day studying productively is like for me.